So this is a slide showing the IDH1 and 2 mutation. What it really does is it works on the isocitrate dehydrogenase. That's what it stands for. And when you have the mutation, this is what happens. You are ending up, instead of producing alpha ketoglutarate, you're producing 2-hydroxyglutarate. And that is what causes the problems with um, AML when you have this mutation. IDH inhibitor differentiation syndrome. So when you have IDH mutations, you can have different inhibitors are available now to use for the treatment of IDH mutations. Those are um, what we call IDH inhibitors. What you need to remember with IDH inhibitors is they can cause what is called IDH inhibitor differentiation syndrome. It's very similar to what we call ATRA syndrome. ATRA is a medication which is used in acute promyelocytic leukemia. Remember, we talked about 1517 translocation PML rare alpha. ATRA use is directly against that um, PML rare alpha. IDH inhibitor is used directly against IDH mutations. Both these drugs, when they are used, can cause what is called differentiation syndrome. The symptoms of differentiation syndrome are non-infectious leukocytosis, peripheral edema, pyrexia, dyspnea, pleural effusion, hypotension, hypoxia, pulmonary edema, pneumonitis, pericardial effusion, rash, fluid overload, tumor lysis syndrome, and creatinine increase. It can occur as early as one day or up to three months after starting the IDH inhibitor with or without concomitant leukocytosis. The treatment is with dexamethasone, 10 milligram IV every 12 hours and monitor until improvement. If you have non-infectious leukocytosis and um, it's at a higher level, you can initiate treatment with hydroxyurea or leukopheresis to kind of get this under control faster. Why it happens is these inhibitors or ATRA, what they do is they cause differentiation of the cells. So you tend to see what is called maturation arrest in these conditions with um, APL or IDH mutations. So when you use drugs that inhibit it, these cells are starting to differentiate and then cause high white count. So you can treat it with dexamethasone and then once it's under control, you can restart these agents. So what are the treatment options for AML? So you have AML induction, which is um, donorubicin, 45 uh, versus 90 milligram per meter square. Two doses were studied. And what they found was 90 milligram per meter square had a higher CR rate. So if a patient can tolerate, meaning a patient aged less than 60, then you can use a higher dose of donorubicin. In the Swiss study also, they looked at um, age greater than 60 and the higher dose, and they also found that even in the higher dose population, they had a better CR rate, even in the elderly. And then the other option that we have now, which is not induction chemotherapy, is hypomethylating agents. We'll talk a little bit about these as well. 